Hey guys, so I am throwing together a quick meatloaf, um, very standard recipe, but what I am doing it is I'm getting it together earlier in the day so that when I get home, I can just throw it right into the oven because it takes about an hour and 15 to 20 minutes to cook. So I'm gonna get all the prep done now so that when I go home from work, just throw it into the oven and dinner's ready. Right on. Okay, so first I'm gonna start with some chopped onions. This is the perfect job for my chopper. So I'm not crying because onions make you cry. So this is perfect. And it also just makes it really uniform and beautiful because you use so many in the meatloaf. I like them to be really uniform. They'll cook at the same amount of time and they look more pro. So now what we're gonna do is let's put these in a pan get them cooked for about five minutes till they sweeten and they get a little translucent. So what we're gonna do is put our onions in with about a tablespoon of olive oil and a tablespoon of butter. And we're gonna cook it down about five minutes. We're gonna toss in a teaspoon of minced thyme. I love onions and thyme together, it's so yummy. It also looks really beautiful. So we're gonna let that cook for about five minutes. Then we're gonna let it cool before we mix it in with our meat. Now I am crying. <laughs> Cooking them over the stove, it's like. Okay, so we have our onions cooked. Beautiful, translucent, sweet, ready to go. So I already put about a teaspoon of salt in there. So that's already mixed in with the onion. So now, that should be cool enough. You wanna make sure that your onions are cool so it doesn't start cooking the meat. <laughs> So we're gonna add in, this is about a third of a cup of breadcrumbs, one egg beaten. This is about a tablespoon of tomato paste mixed with water. Gonna add a little bit of chicken broth as well. It's just like a quarter of a cup. So now we're gonna add in about a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. I love Worcestershire sauce in meatloaf, burgers, Meatballs, it's just like, you know, hand in hand with ground beef. So now what I'm gonna do is just start mixing this up. I'm sorry for my veggie friends out there who don't really like seeing raw meat. I'll cover it with the onion <laughs> so you don't have to really see it. So now you just wanna mix this all together lightly with a fork. Don't overwork it. Oh, you know what? This is a perfect job for my prep on kitchen nesting bowls. So I'm gonna to switch to using that. They're dirty, so I'm gonna clean it. Because after I mix this, A, it's better for mixing because it's such a bigger bowl. And then after, you know, I'm gonna cover it and put it in the fridge and mold it later and cook it later. So just till everything's mixed. I love meatloaf. My son loves meatloaf. He'll eat it mixed into eggs. He'll eat it in a sandwich by itself, he just loves it. Meatloaf is a great prep ahead recipe too because once it's cooked, you can slice it into little slices and actually freeze them with for, uh, parchment paper in between them. And then pop them in the oven. You know, they defrost, you could put them right onto a sandwich for your kids or yourself, it's great. Okay, this is looking good. If you overwork it too much, it'll get like mealy. So now, what I'm gonna do is cover this. Pop it in the fridge. And then later, I'm just gonna mold it into a little log on a baking sheet and bake it into the fridge. So I got the meatloaf cooked and when it was finished, my kids were really hungry, so I fed them. So I didn't get to show you it coming straight out of the oven, but here's the rest of it in a storage container. So I'm now gonna heat it up for my dinner so I figured I'd show you that and that also because the meatloaf is so big, um, this is how I do it a lot of times anyway. So I have it in the container and then I will put some slices on a baking sheet, heat it up in an oven, lunch, dinner, even like chopped up into your eggs. It's so good. So that's what we're going to do <laughs> to wrap up this video. Okay, so here's my dinner I'm going to be heating up. So I like to top it with a little bit of ketchup because I cook it with ketchup on top, but also when I reheat it, I like to dab a little on. And I'm just gonna pop this into a 350 degree oven for about 
five minutes or so until it's hot. And I do this all the time for my kids, for myself and my husband. Okay, great, so here's my dinner. I have my meatloaf, some brown rice I prepped in the fridge, some broccoli I had chopped up, just cooked that up, it took like three minutes. Salad with this dressing that I had that was already just prepped in my fridge, so I brought it to room temp. Again, really great time saver, yum. So even when I'm cooking for myself, this is something that I really like to do for myself as like a self-care thing. Um, Cause the days are so crazy, especially with two young kiddos and trying to juggle work and you know everything like that. So even when I'm cooking for myself, like this is my time to chill out, have a nutritious meal, have a little, you know, glass of wine at the end of the day. My kids are sleeping, everything's all good. And um, this is, when I cook for myself like this, it's also, first of all, it takes no time at all because I have all this stuff cooked in the fridge already. But um, it's really, it's a really good self-care thing as well. So now I'm gonna hang out, eat a nutritious meal, watch the next episode of a show that I love. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's just nice. So I hope you guys like this video. Subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you know when I put up another one. And thanks for hanging out with me. See you guys soon.